bring a gun on a plane and a carry-on? Well, 4,000 people tried to do that last year, and many of those right here at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport. The TSA wants you to know the proper way to travel with a gun. ABC 2's Don Harrison was at the airport today. Guns confiscated at checkpoints at BWI are going up each year instead of down. The TSA would like to see that trend reverse. 27 guns were confiscated in 2017 as opposed to 24 in 2016. If you do bring a gun to the airport improperly, it can cost you a lot of money. TSA can issue a civil citation. Typically, the first offense for bringing a firearm to a checkpoint is about $3,900. Of course, if you're, you've been arrested, you've got your attorney's fee on top of that. So that's going to be a very expensive mistake that could cost you thousands of dollars. The TSA says you can fly with a weapon. You just need to do it properly. Passengers are permitted to travel with firearms and checked bags if they are unloaded, packed in a hard side case, and locked. Ammunition must be in its original box and put inside the hard case next to the gun. You must declare you have a firearm in your checked bag during the check-in process. Gun parts are not permitted in carry-ons. So the best thing to do is if you're coming to the airport, empty your, your carry-on bag completely. Start with an empty bag and then pack it from scratch. The TSA says if you try to use the excuse that you did not know a gun was in my carry-on or my spouse packed my carry-on, you'll still get a fine and probably be arrested. At BWI, Don Harrison, ABC2 News.